Hey everybody, it's Brandon with Carfleet here. Welcome back to the channel. Behind me, I got my fourth gen Ram flexing out, but we're gonna be doing something completely out of the blue that I was thinking about. So as you guys can see, I cut my fenders in a weird spot. Now, if you watch my videos, you guys know my fender, it started out rusty and then this whole point was deleted right here because I keep hitting it off stuff. Hit here, hit here, broke down here. This mount broke taking the fender off. There's a mount here, it broke off completely. So I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this garbage fender and it's making me mad because it looks so bad. So you can see a little bit damage left. Here's the plan. Supports come out, probably in line with the light. So we got support, 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 support. And then we run a nice little um, either, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bend it or just go straight like that with some angles but there's gonna be a fender here. It's a, it's gonna be completely custom, one of a kind. I like, I really like the look of the fabricated custom side. That's just like, if you guys watch my channel, you know I always like to do stuff that's different. So this is a shot in the dark. I got my metal already. We're gonna see if it works. If it doesn't work, don't do it. If it looks cool, you guys can send it. This video will show you how. So first thing you're gonna do guys, head back up to the garage. All right, so fast forwarding. A long time it's been months since i cut that <laughs> so this video has been over the span of a few months here's my idea now we got these trailer fenders so obviously i'm not just gonna slap it on like that there needs to be some some trimming going on all right guys so we're actually gonna be switching up the plan because if you guys saw i started doing those weird trailer fender ones it was supposed to be a super quick way to just be legal again but I'm just like, now it's just like, I might as well do it the way I wanted to originally. I don't know what I was really thinking. And I'm gonna try to do, make it as easy as possible here. I'm not a professional. So let's see if we can make this happen, guys. I'll kind of show you the rough idea. It's definitely not gonna be great, but there's only one way to learn. You gotta throw yourself into the situation and make it work. All right, so we got the metal from at the farm and we got our two bender, also borrowing it from the farm. I'm just going for, I just wanna do one bend because the more complex we make this, the worse it's gonna come out. I'm telling you guys that right now. So we're just gonna go probably from here and we're gonna go straight back and then down to like here, probably to here. Cause that's the, once you go in here, you're worried about the door and stuff. So I wanna go to this piece, what last support right there. And then it will come out like that. That should be it, just one there and then a bend. And my plan is guys, is we're gonna have it come out maybe matching here. And then we're gonna put sheet metal to the fender and close that gap up. So that'll make it look complete again. guys so i just did this bend it's perfect i'm just practicing around here with the bender so this lines up perfect we're going to do this one before we do anything else i want them to be the same obviously length doesn't matter right now each side needs to be cut so i'm not worried about um like where the bend is there just needs to be enough so like this is perfect this is even too much we're gonna have to cut and then obviously this side we're gonna have to chop a good amount all right guys so a little leap ahead here I started getting wild and I forgot to record. But here's what we got. We got the support to there. And we got this guy tacked here. It's hard to do solo here, but it's kind of like that. This is the vibe. We got lots of room for adjustment. There's going to be a gap and I'm going to put sheet metal to it. But it looks so good, guys. I'm so excited for this. One more support right in front of my finger there. And then we're just going to rock with three sheet metal to here and then I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes and make it like Mad Max style with like all the rivets, kind of like my bedside exhaust on the other side. Rivet look, but it's just a bunch of bolts through there. Bolt it together and then if I need to take the fender off, I can unbolt all those and then she's off. We get some protection with this, guys. It's gonna be so cool looking. One of a kind, but I'm excited. I mean, hopefully they turn out good, guys. It's a lot more fun of a project than the sliders where it's like you just stand here take your time 
Don't have to worry about laying under there. Weather's getting better too. It's still cold, but it's not raining. So, all right, guys, we're gonna keep going and get that third support in. Just got the third one on, the middle guy here. Everything's totally welded up. Um, it looks really good. Just grinded these up. And those are the three spots, obviously, they're gonna be welded to. So I'm going to go ahead and weld it on and I'll show you guys once it's on. All right, guys, it is on the truck. Here it is. So a few additions. I had to seal the ends, obviously, but I decided to do a little angle, kind of make it flow a bit better. And then I just did the normal circle on the bottom there. But there it is, guys, look at that. Now that is some serious armor. This thing ain't going nowhere. It is fully welded as best as I could. And I'm on a time pinch here because I have to run to work as always, but not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Considering like the truck has that bend, um, it's it looks in, like it's in the right spot. We're gonna do, um, I, I wish I, I kept my fender so I could have gone like that and then tacked it right to this thing and like made some cool flare-ish thing, but we don't have it anymore. So we're gonna have to work with it for now. But guys, this, this is a pretty cool little piece. I mean, definitely unique on the Ram, that's for sure. It's It looks really good. Once the once that gets covered and we get some sheet metal in there, I think that'll really get the look back that we've been going for. But we do like that rugged look and look at all this protection, guys. We got this crazy bumper, the crazy fender and the sliders. It's just got so much protection now. Oh, baby. We are done the second one as well. This side a little bit faster, but trying to get it right with the other side. Um, this fender I cut more, so the, uh, you'll see when you see the other side, it sits a bit lower, so I might have to even those fenders out. But it's basically the same. And for me, that's good enough. <laughs> I don't care too much, as long as it protects when I lean up against something, because that's happened a lot. If you've seen my channel, my fenders got destroyed multiple times. But I can stand on these guys. I stood on I stood on this one yesterday before I painted it. Um, they're super beefy. But yeah, we're not quite done. It's basically done. But we need to figure out what we want to do for the finishing touches. There's the outcome, guys. I'm going to paint up the other side. But it just looks like a freaking battle ram. <laughs> just the beast mode ram. I also threw this trim on. It kind of gives it a finished look for now. It's gonna come off when we do the the rest, but for now that looks pretty cool with that that black trim. You won't cut yourself either. I'm excited seeing how those turned out, guys. Um, I'm trying to do something completely different than anybody's done on a Ram, I believe in terms of like armor. So I'm I'm happy with the way it came out. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, they're not done yet. Stay tuned guys. I wanna, I'm gonna be picking up some of the like stubble bed liner stuff. And I'm going to be doing the sides of my truck along with all the armor we've done, getting everything repainted. And I'm excited guys. I hope you guys are excited too. There's lots to come on the ramp. I still wanna do the bed build. So if you guys wanna see that, stay tuned. I will be taking the bed off of this thing at some point and making something I still want a bit of a bed. So my idea, I have an idea. I have a picture of it on my computer um, and I'm, I'm gonna kind of go for a general idea, to keep a bit of a box, but make it a custom bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the sub button if you like the content. We're still waiting on our other build guys. It's been so long, it's been months. I'm waiting to get my hands on the next build, but it's just uh, with the car market right now, it's a little bit crazy and it's overpriced right now. So it's not just the Ram and Bronco. There's going to be another one and that's going to be a full sender off-roader. So if you guys want to see that too, make sure you guys subscribe. And yeah, thanks guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.